Hi, hello everyone. So we continue with a new chapter for chapter number eight, uh, number ten. Sorry. Uh, so this chapter about uh, okay about the quality control. Uh, again, the second chapter about quality. Before we discuss about management of quality, now we are discussing about uh, quality uh, control. Uh, quality control. <clears throat> so as you can see from uh, the slide, uh, there are some learning objectives that we are trying to achieve. Uh, first, explain the need for quality, discuss the basic issue of uh, inspection uh, list and briefly explain the element of control process, uh, explain how uh, control chart are used to, to monitor a process uh, and the concept that uh, underlie their use, uh, use and interpret a control chart, okay, and then perform run test to check for non randomness in process output and assess uh, process uh, capability. Okay. So this uh, chapter is really actually covers uh, what, what we can uh, see as a quality control and the purpose of uh, the purpose of quality control to ensure that uh, processes are performing in acceptable manner. So company accomplish this by monitoring uh, process output using statistical techniques. So quality control is a process that measure output relative to a standard and take corrective action when output does not meet standard so if the results are acceptable no further action is required unacceptable result call for a correction so every every process generate output that exhibits a random variability so this is a but that is a very natural then and, uh, and uh, cannot be uh, uh, corrected however if there are non random variation in a uh, process output that can be corrected so quality control tools are used to decide when corrective action uh, is needed so you can see from here a uh, process that evaluates what is a quality control so it's all about the side mission okay and then so From this uh, graph, you can see uh, uh, many occupy of uh, a middle ground that involve uh, uh, some uh, inspection and a great deal of process control. Uh. This figure illustrates these uh, phases of quality, quality assurance, uh, quality assurance from inspection uh, alone. Uh, and uh, uh, then uh, up to the continuous improvement okay and from the this progressive from the most progressive there are some approaches to quality <coughs> assurance <coughs> So inspection is an appraisal activity that uh, compares goods or services uh, to a standard okay so inspection is a vital but often unappreciated aspect of quality control. So although for well-designed processes, little inspection is necessary. So inspection uh, cannot be co uh, cannot be completely elimin uh, eliminated, and with increasing increase uh, outsourcing of product and services, inspection has taken on a new level of significance. Significance in lean organization, uh, inspection is less of an issue uh, than it is for other organization because lean organization uh, place extra emphasis on quality in design in the design of both uh, product uh, and uh, processes.
and to determine whether a process is functioning as intended uh, or to verify that a batch uh, or a lot of raw material or final products does not contain more than a specified percentage of defective uh, goods it is necessary to physically examine at least some of uh, the item in question so the purpose of inspection uh, to provide information on the degree to which uh, uh, item confirm uh, to a standard so the basic issue okay uh, uh, how much uh, to inspect and on how often uh, and at what point uh, in the process inspection should occur and then whether uh, to inspect in a centralized or on-site location uh, and whether to inspect attribute uh, uh, count the number of times sometimes occur or a variable uh, So consider for example inspection at an uh, intermediate state in the uh, manufacture of a uh, personal computer. So because inspection costs are often uh, significant, questions uh, naturally arise on whether one need to inspect every computer or whether a small sample of computer will surface. Yeah. So on this uh, diagram, you can see, okay, well, uh, as illustrated here, okay, the inspection activities increase. Eh? It's the better uh, inspection activities uh, increase. Inspection cost increase. Eh? Uh, so, but the cost of undetected uh, defect uh, decrease. Okay, uh, the cost of undetected uh, defect uh, decrease. So the tra traditional goals, uh, we, uh, traditional uh, goal uh, was to min minimize the sum of these uh, two costs. In other words, it uh, may not pay to attempt to catch every defect, particularly if the cost of inspection exceed the penalties associated with letting some defect get through. So current thinking is that every reduction in defective output reduces cost although not primary primarily by inspection so many uh, operation have numerous uh, possible inspection point because each inspection add to the cost of the product or service it is important to restrict uh, inspection effort to the points where they can do the most good so in manufacturing, some of the typical inspection points are raw materials and purchase part and then finished product then before a costly operation or before uh, an uh, irreversible process. Okay, uh, So in many cases, item can be uh, reworked up to certain point beyond the point uh, they cannot. Uh, for example, pottery can be reworked prior to uh, Firming. After that, the uh, defective pottery must be discarded or sold at second at, or at a lower price. Eh? And then uh, before covering process, eh? before uh, covering process like painting, uh, plating, eh? okay. There is uh, some of uh, example uh, example of inspection. At the hotel or motel, okay. Uh, inspection point and characteristic, okay. <coughs> like say counting, uh, time uh, focus on accuracy, yeah. building and ground, so appearance and safety, right? As some example of inspection and hotel. So some uh, situation require inspection to to uh, be performed uh, in on uh, at on site. For example, in inspecting the hull of ship for crack, require inspect inspector to visit the ship. So off site or versus uh, on site inspection effect on cost and level of disruption or major issue in selecting centralized 
versus on on site inspection. Eh? On site is off site inspection, maybe specialized test that maybe uh, uh, best be completed in a lab. Eh? And more specialized testing equipment, more favorable testing uh, environment for on site, like so quicker decisions are rendered, eh? avoid introduction of external uh, factors and quality at the source. Eh? So it's based on what kind of uh, inspection that we are trying to do. So quality control is a concern with quality of conformance of a process. So that's the output of a process confirmed uh, to, into, to the intent of design. So variation in a characteristic of process output provide uh, uh, the rationale for process control. Okay. So statistical process control or SPC, uh, SPC is used to uh, evaluate process output to decide if a process is in control or if uh, corrective action needed. Yeah. Corrective action, uh, uh, action needed. So all process uh, generate output that exhibit some degree of variability. So this issue is whether the output variation are within an acceptable range. Okay, the issue is addressed by answering these uh, two uh, basic uh, question about the process variation. Uh, the first one are the variation random. So if non-random variation are present, the process is considered to be unstable. Uh, so corrective action will need to be taken to improve the uh, process by eliminating the causes of non-randomness to achieve the stable process. And then uh, given a stable process uh, is the inherent variability of process output within a range that's un uh, that confirmed for perform uh, for to performance criteria. So this uh, involve assessment of a process capability to meet a standard. So if a process is not capable, the situation will need to be addressed. So you can see from here, uh, variation can be a random variation, okay, or assign assignable uh, variation. Yeah. And then there's a common cause, a national revolution in the output of process affected uh, by countless minor factors uh, and assignable, uh, assignable uh, variation. It's a variation whose cause can be identified and a uh, non-random variation. So in SPC, uh, in statistical process control, uh, predict samples of process output are taken and sample statistics eh, such as sample means or number of uh, occurrences of a certain type of outcome are uh, determined. So the sample statistic can be used uh, to judge randomness of variation of, of uh, process variation. So the sample statistic uh, exhibit variation uh, just as processes do. So the variability of uh, sample statistic can be described by it sampling uh, distribution. <coughs> That's a, a theoretical distribution that describes the random variability of uh, sample statistic. statistic. For a variety of reasons, the most frequently used distribution is normal uh, distribution. So this uh, figure illustrate in a sampling distribution and a process distribution. Yeah. So uh, not uh, three important thing in uh, this figure. Uh, both distribution have the same mean, yeah. and the second uh, the vari var variability of the sampling distribution is less than the variability of the process, and then the third one the sampling distribution is normal. Yeah. 
Uh, this is true even if the process but the solution is not normal okay so sampling and corrective action are only a part of control process sampling <coughs> and corrective action are only part uh, of the control process Effective uh, control required uh, this uh, following step. The first one you can see define. Uh, the first step is to define in sufficient detail what is to be controlled. It is not enough, for example, to simply refer to a painted surface. So the paint uh, can have a number of important characteristics such as uh, its thickness, hardness, resistance uh, to fading or chipping. So different characteristics may require a different approach to uh, for uh, pers uh, for control purpose and then uh, measure eh? uh, so how will measure uh, be accomplished eh? uh, only those characteristics uh, can be accounted or measured or candidate for control thus it is important to consider how measurement uh, will be completed eh, or accomplished eh? and then compare eh? and there must be a standard of comparison uh, can be used uh, to evaluate the measurement okay uh, this uh, relate to the level of quality uh, being sought all right and then uh, evaluate uh, uh, establish the uh, definition of uh, of out of control uh. so management must establish that definition even a pro process that is functioning as it should uh, will not yield output the confirm exactly the standard simply because of the natural uh, variation inherent in a in all process, manual or mechanical. And then uh, correct, uh, uncover uh, the cause of non-random variability and fix, this, fix it. Uh, uncover, uh, so when uh, a process is just uh, to be out of control, correct action must be uh, taken. And monitor, uh, uh, monitor the result uh, uh, to ensure that corrective action is uh, effective the output of process must be monitored for a sufficient period of time to verify that the problem has been eliminated. <coughs> so, uh, an important tool in a statistical process control is the control chart, uh, which uh, was developed by uh, Walter Stewart, uh, uh, sorry, Walter Stewart. So control chart is a time ordered plot of a sample statistic. It is used to distinguish between random variability and non-random uh, variability. Uh, it's a, or it's, uh, it's a, a time ordered plot a representative sample uh, statistic obtained from an ongoing process. Uh, so, okay, used to distinguish between random and non-random non -random variability. Okay. As control limits, meaning that uh, it can uh, divide uh, uh, the dividing line between random and non-random deviation from the mean of distribution uh. okay. and it's very common for us to see uh, uh, this is a control chart like this uh, out of control uh, upper control limit and lower control limits okay. <coughs> is a dividing uh, line between what will be designed as a random deviation from the mean of distribution and what, what will be designed uh, as a non-random deviation from the mean of distribution. Okay, control chart uh, have a two limit at a separate random variation and non-random variation. The larger value is a upper control limit and the smaller value is the lower uh, lower control limit. Eh? There's a sample statistic that falls. Uh, these two limits suggest uh, that, but uh, does not approve uh, randomness. Uh, while uh, value outside or either limit uh, suggests uh, uh, non-randomness. Okay, uh, type one error where the error is uh, okay. uh, type one error. 
where the error is concluding the non-randomness uh, is present when only randomness is present so it is also referred as a alpha risk uh, alpha risk <coughs> And then uh, type 2 error uh, which is concluding uh, that a process in a control when it is really out of control uh, really out of control for example non uh, concluding non-random variation are not present when they are so in theory the cost of making each error should be balanced by their probabilities so however in practice uh, 2 sigma Limit and three sigma limit are commonly used with specific special 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 uh, special uh, <coughs> special uh, special special uh, referring to the problem. Okay, sorry. <coughs> so this. Uh, Figure, okay, you can see. Example of type one error, okay, and then uh, observation from sample distribution. So, so means and range uh, chart are uh, used uh, to monitor variable uh, control chart for means monitor the central tendencies of a process. Uh, and arrange charts or uh, monitor the dispersion of the process. So this is uh, a equation that we use uh, to uh, establish a control limits. <coughs> An X bar chart a control limit used to monitor the central tendency of a process. Uh, charts, control limits, as uh, you can see, a lot of uh, uh, example in the text uh, books. Okay, there are, for example, this range charts, uh, range uh, control chart. I uh, uh, used to monitor uh, process uh, dispersion. Uh, they are very sensitive to change in the process dispersion. So although the underlying sampling distribution is not normal, the concept for the use of range chart are much the same eh, as those for the use uh, of mean chart. So control limit for range chart are found using the every sample range in conjunction with this uh, formulas. is for vectors for uh, three sigma control chart okay mean and range chart is so now using the means and range chart means a control chart and range control chart provide a different perspective on a process 
so as we have seen mean chart are sensitive to shift in the process means so whereas uh, range chart are sensitive to changes in process description because of this uh, difference in perspective uh, both type of chart might be used to monitor the same uh, process so control chart for uh, attributes are used when the process characteristic is counted uh, rather than measured uh, for example the number of defective defective item is a sample is in a sample is counted whereas the length of each item is measured so there are two type of attributes uh, control chart one for fraction of defective item in a sample and one for the number of defect per units <coughs> what we call as a p chart and then a c chart uh, the number uh, the fraction of defect, uh, defective chart item in the sample p chart okay and then so the number of defect uh, per unit uh, c chart So P chart is used to monitor uh, the proportion of defective item generated by a process. So the th theoretical basis for a P chart is the binomial uh, distribution. Although for a large sample size, the normal distribution provides a good approximation, approximation to it. So conceptually, a P chart is. Uh, uh, P chart is uh, constructed and used in much the same way as a mean chart. So you can see from here, uh, P chart control limits, uh, okay, P chart, total number of defective by total number of observation. Okay. And when the goal is to control the number of occurrence uh, or defects uh, per units, uh, a C chart is used. Uh, this uh, unit might be automobile, uh, hotel room, type uh, pages or role of carpet so the underlying sampling distribution is the Poisson distribution okay. use of the Poisson distribution and assume that the that defect occur over some continuous region and the probability of more than one defect at any particular point is negligible So using control chart add to the cost and time needed to obtain output. Ideally, a process uh, it, ideally a process is uh, so good that the desired level of quality uh, could be achieved uh, without the use of any control charts. So the best organization strive to reach this level, but many are not yet there. So they employ control chart at various points in their processes. So in those organizations, managers must make a number of important decisions uh, about uh, the use of control chart. Uh, at what point in the process to use control chart, uh, what size sample to take, uh, what, type, uh, what type of control chart to use, uh, for example, variable or attribute, and how often uh, should samples uh, to take uh, be taken? Yeah. 
So control chart uh, test uh, for point that are too extreme to be considered random. Uh, point that are outside of the control limit. So, however, even if all points are within the control limit, the data may still not reflect a random process. So, in fact, any sort of pattern in the data would suggest a non-random process. Okay. So, in this uh, figure, let's say some pattern that uh, might be uh, present. Okay. Uh, analysts uh, or often supplements uh, control chart with a run test eh? uh, with a run test we check for pattern in a se sequence uh, of observation so this enable analyst to do a better job of uh, detecting abnormalities in a process and provide insight into correcting process that is out of uh, control so variety of run tests are, are, are available this section describes two that are widely used so when a process is stable or in a statistical control uh, the output it generates will exhibit random variability over a period of time okay. So once a process has been determined to be stable, it is necessary to determine if the process is capable of producing output that is within an acceptable range. Uh, tolerances or specific, 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 okay, <coughs> range of acceptable values established by <coughs> engineering design or customer requirement. And then a process a variability, a natural or inherent variability in a process process capability uh, the inherence uh, variability of process output uh. okay. yes, uh, process capability you can see uh, okay. process capability uh, CP. So we use when a uh, process is not centered at the target or nominal value. So we can improve the process capability by a few of these okay uh, points simplify standardize a mistake proof upgrade equipment or automate okay. So improving capability require changing the process uh, target value and reducing the process variability that is inherent in a, in, in a, in a process. Okay. <coughs> and that's a, uh, you can see Taguchi loss function. Eh? That's a uh, Taguchi, a Japanese quality expert holds a uh, non-traditional view of what constitute poor quality and hence the cost of uh, poor quality. So the traditional view is that as long as output is within specification, there is no cost. Okay. So Taguchi believe that any deviation, any deviation from the target uh, value represent poor quality. Okay, and that the farther away from target a deviation is, so the greater the cost. So in this uh, figure, uh, let's say the two views, uh, the implication for Taguchi is that uh, reducing the variation inherent in a process <clears throat> so 
so there are several risks of using a capability index okay the process may not be stable in which case a capability index is meaningless okay? and then the process output may not be normally distributed in which case inference inferences about the function of output that isn't acceptable we will be corrected and then so the process is not centered but the cp index is used giving a misleading result So quality is a major consideration for virtually all customer. So achieving and maintaining quality standard is of strategic importance to all uh, business organization. Yeah. Right? So quality assurance and product and services uh, design uh, are two vital links in the process. So organizations uh, should continue, continually seek to increase the capability of the process they use. So they can move uh, from a position of using inspection or extensive use of control chart to achieve desired level of quality to one where quality is built into product and processes. So that little or no effort is needed to assure quality. Processes that exhibit evidence of non-randomness or processes uh, that are deemed uh, to not be capable and should be viewed as opportunities to continuous process improvement. Okay. So in summary, this chapter describes uh, inspection, inspection and statistical process control. So inspection means uh, examining the output of a process to determine whether it is uh, acceptable. So key issue in inspection include where uh, to inspect in the process, how often to inspect, and whether to inspect on site or in a laboratory. So statistical statistical uh, uh, process uh, uh, control focuses on uh, uh, detecting departures from randomness in a process. Uh, two basic tools of process control are control chart and, and run test. Okay. <coughs> So process capability studies are used uh, to determine if the output of a process will satisfy the specification. So they uh, can provide valuable information for managers in terms uh, of reducing costs and avoiding problems created by uh, generating output that is not uh, within specification. Okay. So uh, until now, I think that's all for uh, this chapter. Okay. Thank you very much.